honestly, watching his situation, like everybody seems like they're in a good space. Everybody seems happy. And, you know, for people who haven't ever tried that, like we kind of do like watch from afar and I'm like, is everybody happy or is it someone like feel like they're settling? Right. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Here's the thing. Here's settling the thing. For a settlement or what's up? Everybody settles. Mm. Yeah. You, you settle at some point. You know what I'm saying? And what's wrong with that? You figure out like, because look, there's always more options. Like how, how, how long do we all play that game? You know what I'm saying? Right. That shit gets old. And I've been a guy when on some, but that, what does that get you? Jealousy is fine, though. It's fine. Jealousy is kind of sexy, but it's like you can't be weird with that shit. Like, Mm -hmm. what what, what the fuck were you doing in the bathroom? You texting somebody? Like, like it's how you you got to control it. It's a natural feeling because you care about somebody. It's not more jealousy like that. But it's got to be understanding. But see, when you're with somebody that makes you feel comfortable, Mm -hmm. that, like, all right, you know, and my baby girl will get like, what the fuck was this? Like, what are you talking to her right now? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm talking to her. She know I ain't going to do shit behind her back. Mm-hmm. And I'm not. I won't. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no... I've been in situations to where I, I back in the day, lying to girls and all that shit, they, they leave me, come back. I don't want nothing like that. I don't want a girl with broken trust. Mm-hmm. I don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want the shit pure. Yo, Twitch. And by the way, I ask him these questions for honesty mm-hmm. because trust me, there's so many men. It's like, shit, I've been there too, where, hey, rather than you living your truth and being honest with two women, like, you know what I mean? I like what, even what he said. Like, as as a man, respectfully, he said, yo, listen, I'm a, y'all know what it is. Everybody here going to be tested and clean. Yo, a lot of dudes, and come on, we dudes, we just be like finessing in line. Because we want to have it our way, because we want to have our cake and eat it too. Right. And we always hear about, oh, you could be honest. But most time when women say, well, if you want to do this, you're going to tell the truth. She's basically saying, you could tell us the truth that we could leave. And mm-hmm. nobody wants that. Right. So when you could be honest and tell the truth, I'm going to tell you, like, guys, like, first of all, we're bad liars. But if we if we could just be honest and also just live yeah. a very congruent life mm-hmm. lifestyle where everybody agrees. So peep this act. So the first time we took her out, we went to Delilah in LA. Shout out Delilah. It's a fucking on a Wednesday night. Shoot, now it's like a Friday. It's, or good, it's a good restaurant. It's any night is, is fucking yeah. Good. But anyway, I'd already told her, like, yo, we gotta get tested, whatever. And that night, shit, she wanted to come home. She wanted to play. She's like, Can I please come play? And then baby girl was like, Come on, let's, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no. Right? Really? Because look, I have my rules. And if I waver on that shit. They're not gonna respect me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if we have fun that night, they're not gonna respect me. But but rules, we put them in place for a reason. And the next day, the biggest compliment I got from her, it made me feel good. She was like, last night was so much fun. I felt so safe with y'all. Safe. You know what I'm saying? That's what women want. Yeah. They want to feel safe. It's first objection. That normally comes to when they date men. Security, like being secure in yourself, securing your position and your role in the relationship. Um, was it hard for you to be like, hey, listen? coming into this relationship, right? I not gonna fuck with no other dudes. I'm not because it's like when you want someone, no one else matters. Mm-hmm. Like even in a monogamous relationship, Facts. like when you could be like fucking with hella people and then like some that, that one person comes in, you're like, screw the others. Yeah. Facts. And for me, that was like, it wasn't even anything I thought about. It was like, okay, like easy. I don't, I don't want anyone else. I don't yo, care. And I told her, like, I said, look, I don't, I, I expect for you to not be fucking with nobody else. And and she it's didn't open. have to accept it. She can go and go do her thing. But if that's, if you want to deal with us, then that's how that has to be. And it was like, okay. so I already take it or leave it. You know, take it or leave it, not in a mean way, yeah. but it's like, mm-hmm. I'm putting that out there. This is what I, my expectation. Like my yeah. one thing with poly relationships, like, I don't want to feel below. Like, I, if I were to be in one, I would have to feel equal to the other girl. Like, I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't want to feel like she's, has like a little, like, one. So, I got something for you, though. So, what if you were the second girl, mm-hmm. right? And you don't have as much timing as the other girl. See, that's where, like, the tricky part <laughs> but is. So, like, but, that's but here's so the thing, tricky. That's what I wanted to know look, look, more look, look, about. Look, 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 look. But so we 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 just we we be honest about it mm-hmm. and we spend time and be and be, you know, a gentleman or whatever. But you rather not deal with that with people because typically I can't speak for everybody in a poly mm-hmm. relationship, 
but in a part of the relationship, you don't want to fuck it up because you got a good thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my phone, gonna, my phone gonna be super honest. So you can deal with another dude. Like most, I'm you're an attractive woman, so I'm sure that you you want an attractive man mm -hmm. and a man that other women want. And so that man is probably exploring his options. Mm -hmm. So you're probably getting lied to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, men don't okay. want to be fucking one girl for the rest of their life. I'm just saying it like this. It it's fucking that's real. Facts. It's fucking real. Yeah, it's real. That's so, the real so, shit so, ever. And that doesn't mean that they don't love you or don't care about you. It's Sex is different. Did I say this With men and women, <laughs> sex is different. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you. it's like, what do you do? Do you like, all right. I know that I'm not the first, right? Mm -hmm. But fuck it. I'm being treated good, whatever. Mm -hmm. And let's let's ride it out. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's or, like you're respecting Or you're me. dealing with a motherfucker that... Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know like, I mean? my main question would be, like, where I feel like, oh, I want to be equal. Say if there was a situation that, like, arises and you have to pick. Who are you picking? Like, what does that mean? Give me give like specific. a situation arises, like, um, say I'm trying to think of like, I don't know if you guys could think of situations like a situation where he will okay. have to choose between Basically, the two. Basically, someone was not honest and two of the three recognizes. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Not Doesn't honest. matter how hard the situation is, how, how hard and not honest. You just realize, okay, this person is just not honest. Do you boot them out? Know. What do you do? I both mean, them off the island? It, I guess it had to depend on what they're not honest about. There's a lot of circumstances involved with that. I don't know. That's a hypothetical. It's hard to just say okay. what, what we do. Or like yeah. say if they both have an issue with each other. Like they have beef with each okay. other. You know That's what I mean? Cool. That's cool. And like they um, you have to kind of I choose. Think it's mediation. I, I expect that like to happen your girl, at some point. Your girl's like stay with her or stay with me like which one are you gonna choose nobody's gonna put give me an ultimatum mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day i i run this ship you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying it is what it is by like okay you were with her first you know like i would imagine you guys are all equal now because you're all in together mm -hmm. but if she agreed for her to come in it she should never ever put you in a position where it's like yo you better choose me over her right. yeah. because you agreed to this yeah, she yeah. Was right. all and see that's the thing that's the thing like that. The women I choose to be with are good people, right? Mm -hmm. So she wouldn't even say some shit like that. You know what I mean? Because that's like, that's weird. Can like, you put in the word secure too? Because I kind of like touched up on what you guys were talking about last week and it went over their young minds that was Wait, here at the secure? table. Say like again. you have to be secure to like pretty much understand that a guy is going to want variety. Mm -hmm. when you got to be attached to reality. Yeah. Not, not your feelings. That is you know that as well. And that's just reality. Like you look at the statistics, man, like. Do all men just hate women and you want to cheat? Like, nah. No. Like, men are suppressing their their natural That's fucking good. carnal desires. You know, and and a man that suppresses his desires like that, he, it's like a like a water hose that's kinked up. Yeah. He's not mm -hmm. flowing. His, his creative energy, his boss energy, ain't flowing like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like I'm I'm fully in my masculine fucking shit, whatever it's called, and. My women are fucking and they're they're feminine shit and it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like before uh Sid was in the picture, we 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 had a date with another girl and we was at dinner with friends of mine that are married and they didn't know I was bringing two girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the next day they was like the woman, the girl, she was like, uh, that was really beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That that I didn't think that, that would be cool, but that was it was so normal and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Because we were just chilling. It was normal. Just vibing. You know oh, what I'm saying? Love. Yeah. Just them on a date with us with two girls, me and two girls. You know what I'm saying? It didn't seem like creepy or no weird shit. Yeah, it was yeah. just like loving and chill. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was genuine. It's a genuine. And it was just like more personalities and mm -hmm. more conversation. It was just, it was fun. It was a vibe. You Mike, know what I'm I, I love what you're doing in terms of from everything I've seen thus far you're showing someone like me who, you know, the, the term or the idea of being in a polyamorous relationship, I've never seen it executed mm -hmm. correctly because there are egos that come into it. There are people who kind of, you know, all of a sudden it becomes a, a competition. You know, mm -hmm. it's not the same amount of energy and not amount of time put in with, with all parties. And I see you doing it well. Mm -hmm. And honestly, how you talk talk about them while they're in your presence and also how they talk about you, it feels like you're actually doing it well. And I'm I'm rooting for you even <laughs> with all the questions I've asked. So, so yeah. pick this, bro, pick this. Like, there's like girls from my past that are like, oh, like try to talk shit. And I'm like, oh, they'd be like, oh, so you with somebody? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and they'd be like, well, what's up with us? I was like, I, I check I check them bitches, like, yo, don't disrespect my girl like that. You know what I'm saying? 
And like, there's one, my girl seen like, after the fact, it's not like I'm like, yo, look, look what I did. So I'm loyal when it's not convenient. You know what I'm saying? When nobody's watching, you know what I'm saying? So that's, it's just the real shit. It's like, you gotta have like your intentions set and know what you want. And what I want is some real, a real connection the way that I want it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just, I'm not playing games with nobody. I, mm-hmm. I respect everybody I deal with. So I respect them enough and, and Evelyn, especially like when we was just like, just trying to navigate through, like I respect her too much to do some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen, have you seen like situations because I know a lot of either dudes who feel like a polyamorous situation would be good for them and a lot of women who feel like they could deal with it. But for the dudes who I know, literally they just want to be able to fuck multiple women. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like, like, like you know, even you saying, you know, I, I think that question was asked multiple times and like how many people would you entertain in a polyamorous relationship? I mean, you, you pretty much say, hey, listen, two, I'm good. You know, for some people, it's like, hey, I just want to say poly, that could fuck multiple people and just say, hey, I'm fucking them regular or I'm in a relationship with them so you can't be mad about it. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen that? Because I, I, no, no, by the way, this is for all three of you guys. Oh, well, women can read intention really well. We read energy and we see like, uh, you're just fucking with me. So if a man were to say that, say, oh, he forgot to text me. He's too busy over here. He's He's not present he's not intentional and with him he's intentional he asked me evelyn you know um he asked me all the time evelyn how can how can i be a better man for you is is there something lacking you know he checks in with me and i feel seen i feel heard i feel loved and if it were just some guy trying to fuck i would know because he wouldn't care you know what i'm saying he's just trying to have all these you know bitches and women are, are smart and they should really really pay attention to those things and that's how i would discern it the the reason why i saw those questions i flew out a girl one time who was just separated from a poly relationship and she was so upset because jealousy like it kind of bred into the situation when the dude got the other girl pregnant Mm. now she also was pregnant but like I don't know, maybe pregnancy made her feel a little bit different. It's the hormones. It's yes, the hormones. hormones. So like, That's she like... wasn't on that poly shit no more. She was on some, yo. You, listen, who do you who do you like want to be with? Because yeah. at that and, point, and, it's like the father of your kid. Like, yeah, and then the dude is like, well, we had this whole situation for whatever amount of time. Why is this happening? Right. And I realized, like, yo, sh- she was. Like she was describing things that just wasn't about a poly relationship. So I started Googling, started talking to people who are, who are in those. Right. And that's when people said, hey, listen, the, that girl who you encountered, she may have just had a, a relationship with the dude, mm-hmm. but she w- weren't really like cognizant that she was in a poly relationship, which involves multiple people, not just being with the dude. And that's why I brought the sister wives thing, you know, bro. That's that's the reality of most relationships in America. Yeah, mm-hmm. everybody's in a poly relationship. It's just the dudes are lying and the girls are in denial. <laughs> right. I'm not. I'm not even trying to be Facts. funny. That's that's real shit. Women are in denial. Facts. And dudes are lying. It, right. it is what it is. Right. Very Facts. very true. Um, okay. Uh, who's uh, who's next? Just piggyback. I'm happy you guys are actually here. I really wish you guys were here last week. That's yeah. one. Two, um, meeting you in person, like, I, I respect you because you do stand on what you say. You mean what you say, you mean it. And I respect people like you because you're my kind. Um, no, I just want to <coughs> remind women to, you know, be in your feminine and to remind everyone to have an open mind. <coughs> so you never know this could work out for you or not. But you got to be honest with yourself or else, you know, the lies mm-hmm. will come out. And the man's got to be worth it. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. Absolutely. You have to be very secure be within yourself. Yeah. Also. Definitely you know, secure. Let's not. Worry. If you're not uh-huh. secure, that's just not yeah. Let's not forget mm-hmm. that man. Uh, you know, Mike is putting the fucking work, and you know, yep. there's a reason why. Mm-hmm. You know, the women are a byproduct of his success. You know what I'm saying? Women align themselves with the strongest males for a reason, and it is what it is, man. Women are biologically hardwired, and they can share a man if the man is high value enough. Mike is the man. So yeah. So uh, what about you? Like Mike. <laughs> uh, what about you, uh, Sid? Um. I think for me, this was just like so fun to like talk about it and like also just for like women just to like be open to it. And like when it comes to this, like your self-worth and like just be your best self, be feminine, live in it. Because like for me, I'm a gym rat, like it's kind of a masculine place, but like 
make it sexy, make it fun, and mm -hmm. do whatever you want to do. Like, just make it sexy, make it fun. Cool. Did it? Oh. Question for you. Would you ever do that with your man? Yeah, I would. This, okay. like, this answered my question. Okay, fire. We were literally talking about this today on my way to my last appointment. Damn. Literally. You and your nigga? Mm-hmm. 